The Omotepe Scientific Field Research Facility is run by the Molina family and lies at the base of the Madeiras volcano. The top remains hidden under a constant cloud forest. However, we must wait for a new day to explore it. For now, we can only enjoy the sunset. An early start is a must for this hike, as it will take all day. All around us are clues to the evolutionary process. Plants have adapted to grow on volcanic rock. breaking them down to make the most fertile soil on earth. This canyon has been carved by millennia of water flow from the cascade that lies just uphill. It's like walking through a massive green hallway. Plants grow in even the smallest crevices between rocks. Epiphytes, or air plants as they are more commonly called, have adapted far beyond growing on rocks. They no longer need soil. They absorb nutrients and water directly from the humid rainforest air. As the hike escalates, we come upon our first glimpse of the cascade. Lush with vegetation, the cascade is over 300 meters tall. Those below get a cool missing. Surprisingly, the water at the base of the cascade is not deep at all. As it comes down, the water itself becomes a humid hoodie. It's easy to lose track of time here. The 
cascade also supplies water for the research station's use and for the hydroelectric plant that powers the station. The water is filtered several more times before reaching the station. Though somewhat crude, the system gets the job done. The collection chamber does need to be cleaned from time to time. Large pipes carry the water back down the mountain. Further up the mountain lies an adventure not for the faint-hearted. High winds and showers characterize the hike. With every 10 meters climb, the temperature drops 1 degree Celsius. As the hike escalates, the vegetation also adapts to the plethora of water made available by the cloud forest. At such altitudes, trees can take mystic shapes. Vines and branches are covered in thick moss and lichen. Something is always growing on something else. At some points, the trail is indistinguishable. At the peak lies the site for sore eyes. A lagoon rests inside the dormant volcano. The hike down into the crater is treacherous. We make our way down the trail. The path has been dug centuries ago by the indigenous Indian tribes as hunting paths.